I'm going to go ahead, we're going to review student sheet 9.1, Energy Across the Sciences. Remember, you guys were supposed to complete this yesterday. Uh, we went over parts one together on Monday, or, yeah, Monday. Um, you guys were supposed to finish it up yesterday. Today is Wednesday. Um, going to go over responses in case anybody missed anything or if you guys need to make corrections. So we'll go ahead and begin. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in part one just in case anyone missed that. So the question or phenomenon that ecologists study is why aren't there more levels in a food web? And we found through the reading, we kind of summarized that anytime an animal eats something, only some of the energy goes to the animal. And because of this, there is a top level to the food chain or else the food chain would go on forever. Okay, so that's uh, number one there. Uh, we will move on to cell biologists and biochemists. Now, through the reading, you should have found that the question or phenomenon that they study is how do cells get energy from the food we eat? And from the reading, we should have been able to find or summarize that we know food has energy. But cell biologists study how that energy is transferred and transformed from food to nutrients that cells need. Now these words might not be directly in the reading. Um, the intentions are to read through each section and to kind of summarize those main ideas as far as how to answer that question that they study. Okay, So moving on to the third section, geologists. Should have been able to find that the question or phenomenon they study is how does energy lead to changes in Earth's surface? Should have been able to find through the text and summarize a little bit that for landforms to exist, Earth's surface has to change over time. What energy causes those changes and where does that energy come from?
So for landforms to exist, Earth's surface has to change over time, which I'm sure, you know, we're not going to notice it from year to year, but in the course of 10, 15, 20 years, we do notice some change, okay? Now, what causes those changes, and where does that energy come from to allow those changes to occur? That's what we should have been able to summarize from the reading. All right, moving on to the fourth section, meteorologists. Should have been able to find, as far as the question, why is the frequency and severity of hurricanes increasing? Hopefully through the text, you guys were able to summarize and discover that energy from the sun causes the oceans to heat the thermal energy, and this thermal energy causes weather like hurricanes. Okay, so last one, aeronautical engineer. Hopefully you guys were able to identify the question or phenomenon through the reading, through the text. Should be how much energy do we need to launch rockets? I'm sure some of you guys have been wondering that before, especially dealing with this energy unit and being interested in topics like space and solar system and things of that sort. So through the text and what you read, hopefully you guys were able to summarize that Rockets need a lot of energy in order to get out into space. This energy needs to be transformed safely so that the rocket and the people inside aren't damaged. So there you have it. There's your student sheet, 9.1 Energy Across the Sciences Review. If you need to make corrections, please do so. If you miss something, please fill that in. Okay, make sure that this is completed. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me. See you guys. Hope you have a good day.